Hey guys, it's Tuesday, you're here with Shayna, and I am back this week. I know I have been absent for a while, uh, this time of year, and school, and health, and you guys, you guys get it, I think. So our two topics this week are um, about femme lesbians and femme invisibility, and then on the other side of the spectrum, talking about uh, more masculine or butch presenting lesbians, and issues around uh, their gender identity being confused or mistaken. So I think I'm going to talk more about uh, femmes and femme invisibility stuff uh, rather than the second topic, but it's still early in the week, so hopefully some of the other girls will have more to say on the second topic than I do. I personally don't really ascribe to either the femme or butch label. I know a lot of other people for whom those labels are a very integral part of their identity, but for me, uh, the way I present myself is, usually is really highly dependent on my mood and where I'm going and how I'm feeling, and a lot less to do with my own gender expression and presentation. Plus, I just don't really feel completely comfortable with either of those labels, so I don't know, I'm just me. I'm just, I'm just super gay. However, I think when people first look at me, I think Probably their first kind of knee-jerk perception of me is that I'm on the more femme side of the spectrum, which is fine with me. Like, it doesn't, it honestly doesn't really matter to me. And I actually have this theory that it, a lot of it has to do with my hair. Um, I feel like I have kind of really feminine hair because it's long and it's kind of big and curly and it's a bright color. I don't know, I've never really asked anyone about, you know, their first you know, their first impressions or perceptions of me, so I don't completely know. But with that aside, I'm kind of in the same boat as Haley in that uh, as someone who comes from such a diverse city like Toronto, I've never really experienced any femme invisibility and I've never heard any of my friends ever kind of complain about anything that has to do with uh, femme invisibility. And also when I go out to queer events or I'm in queer spaces, I think I and probably most other people there just kind of a, assume that everyone else there is not straight, um, and B, I always see a lot of really feminine presenting queer girls there, um, a lot of whom are much more feminine than I am, so I do know there's definitely no shortage of feminine, uh, of feminine queer women, uh, I guess at, at least in Toronto, which is really the only community that I'm familiar with. What I found the most interesting actually is that the people who um, are the most surprised that I'm gay aren't usually other queer people. Usually other queer people tend to be able to pick that up about me, even oftentimes without me even saying it, but I found that the people who are usually the most surprised that I'm gay are straight people. And I think this probably has a lot to do with the fact that by and large people who are outside the LGBT community usually have a lot less first-hand experience with that community, and because of that, often get their ideas about the community from things like TV shows, or books, or movies, or just the media in general, which I think we're all well aware that the media doesn't always provide, in fact, it usually doesn't provide the most accurate representations of people. And really, up until like, just the past three or four years, really the only lesbian who was being regularly portrayed in the media was Ellen DeGeneres. And Ellen DeGeneres isn't the most feminine looking lesbian on the planet, so I think a lot of people's perceptions and ideas about what queer women look like are is often more reflective of Ellen or someone who looks like Ellen. Although in the past, you know, three or four years, I think representation of more feminine looking lesbians has gotten a little better. Um, you know, if you think about shows like The Fosters or, you know, Santana from Glee or Orange is the New Black. Although I do have this feeling that feminine lesbians are being portrayed a little more because of the idea that more feminine women are more appealing to look at which is an issue all on its own, but for whatever the reason, the media is slowly starting to show that there are uh, lesbians who are feminine looking, and that not all queer women look like Ellen DeGeneres, which is a good thing, because we don't. So that's my video for this week. Um, I know Haley mentioned this in her video yesterday, but in case you didn't see it, I just wanted to mention again that we have hit 20,000 subscribers, which is crazy, considering that just a year ago, when I first joined the channel, we weren't even at 10,000 subscribers yet. So we, in the past year as a channel, have literally grown over 10,000 people, which is 
insane and mind-blowing and I just wanted to thank you all so much for sticking with us and watching and even through all of the changes and stuff that we've gone through this year you guys have been so wonderful and we just absolutely adore you all and I also just wanted to say uh, as always if you have any topic suggestions we definitely want to hear from you so leave them in the comments below or you can message us on Tumblr or through Facebook and we all, we do look at all of them and we try and get to as many as possible provided we haven't like talked about them before so I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you all back here same time same day next week and have a beautiful rest of the day. Bye guys.